Hi folks, Roger Cormier from Midwest Outdoors near Minnesota's Lake of the Woods. We're staying at Arneson's Rocky Point Resort, which you've seen on Midwest Outdoors for many years. And today we've got a special treat for you. We're taking a behind the scenes look on how they keep the wheels turning at what's considered as the world's largest ice fishing destination. Total over the years, Arneson's Rocky Point Resort has grown their track van fleet to over 30 vehicles that they've got out on the ice to take care of people. These are the track rigs that get you to and from your rental fish house out on the lake. In today's segment, Mark Arneson is going to tell you folks at home some of the details about the cream of the crop. These are the top of the line track rigs that they build, custom vehicles. They've got eight of them in their fleet of 30. Mark, tell the folks a lot of cool information about Arneson's track rigs. Well, like we were told from GM, what we're trying to do with these rigs, they just weren't designed for it. We're trying to take a one-ton van and turn it into more or less a tank. I mean, we mount up skis, torsion axles underneath them. What we try to do is just, we try to beef them up as hard as we can. We take a corporate rear end in here, put in 488 gears. We have custom-built drive shafts. We take the transmissions out, beef up those, put in Kevlar clutch plates, drill out the valve body. Anything on these that we can figure out how to beef up, we can. But with the extreme conditions that we're doing out there, it's just asking a lot of these rigs. There's a whole entire fleet of employees out here that you'll never see down on the ice, the behind the scene guys. Up in the shop, we got four guys working in the shop here, and we got three, three other guys working over next door just working on fish houses. I'll walk you through this one here quick. There's two things on this these track van that we're really proud about. The one is the back door. On the old Steigers, where we just had vans mounted up on chassis, we always had problems with getting up and down on the tracks. Well, in the new style, we put in these airplane doors. So they pop open, and then your steps are just built in so all, the snow is always off them. We built these aluminum cabs, and we put flotation underneath the seats and then in the floor, so there's enough positive flotation beadboard They'll float this if we ever, God forbid, have an accident and drop the back end in or something that's total flotation in these rigs. And then we have the escape windows here. And then we built them so there's plenty of room. I mean, they're comfortable. You can put gear behind you and you can put gear between the people in the seats. Well, we typically run eight people out here, but we can run up to 12 people. But with as many rigs as we have, eight to 10 is a nice comfortable number. You're not too squished. So it's just a nice comfortable ride out. Stereo driver you can talk to, it's nice and heated. You're sitting on two feet of foam, so the R value is just ridiculous. We'll show you around the front end and some of the tricks we did up there too. Back in the mid 80s when we bought our first track rigs and started going over the snow and instead of through it, we were just going through an unholy amount of tires. I mean, it was got to the point where it was a full-time job just to change tires. One guy, it's all his job was to change tires use a tire machine, mount them up, try to get them to seat. We always had run foam tires on the front and it was always, everybody always speculated if you ran foam tires across the whole board, you'd blow all your cleats. Well, we got sick of changing tires so we started just try one. Well, found out no tires blowing, no cleats snapped. And then we switched to torsion axles on here. So, I mean, overall, we're just really happy. There's nothing to break on the, for the undercarriage itself. Everything's self-contained. It's just, everything's made to, if we bend an axle, it's all bolt in, bolt off. We have stacks of them for spares. So our turnaround on breakdowns is really short. Up here on Lake of the Woods, our ice fishing season can start as early as the beginning of December and can run all the way to the middle of April. So we have to have three different types of ice rigs. That's why we have 30 of them. You got the real light stuff to go out when the ice is thin and then you just can't go out you know, you can't put the big heavy stuff out yet. Then you have the stuff for that 14 to 18 inches of ice. And then when we get to 18 inches or more, that's when we start bringing the big boys out. These things weigh anywhere from 6,500 pounds up to 8,500 pounds. Even though that we have all the safety aspects built into these track rigs, in 30 years of ice fishing, we've never had an accident. It's just more, more or less for peace of mind. We're really proud about these rigs that we run. All the other resorts up on Lake of the Woods run these rigs too. What's really nice about the area up here is all the resorts can work together. If we need a part for this and we don't have it, 
We can call one of the other resorts on the river, and if they need something, a rear end or an engine or a transmission, we'll end up getting a half a dozen calls a week. If we have it, if we can get everybody going out on the lake, going fishing, we'll do everything we can to get them out. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed Mark's tour of their track van fleet. Obviously, the point of the fleet is to get you to and from your fish house comfortably so you can get the most out of your ice fishing vacation. Mark, if folks want to experience Arnison's Rocky Point Resort, a great ice fishing destination, how do they reach you? Well, you can look us up on the web or else you can give us a call at 1-800-535-7585. Mark, thanks for giving the folks a tour today. Appreciate it yeah, very no, much. Yeah, that was fun. I'm Roger Cormier, folks. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.